Mexico City International Airport Spanish, Aeropuerto Internacional de la Ciudad de Mexico, AICM, officially Aeropuerto Internacional Benito Juárez Benito Juárez International Airport IATA, MEX, ICAO, MMMX is an international airport that serves Greater Mexico City. It is Mexico's and Latin America's busiest airport by passenger traffic and aircraft movements. The airport sustains 35,000 jobs directly and around 15,000 indirectly in the immediate area. The airport is owned by Grupo Aeroportuario de la Ciudad de Mexico and operated by Aeropuertos y Servicios Auxiliares, the government-owned corporation, which also operates 22 other airports throughout Mexico. In recent years Toluca Airport has become an alternate airport, this hot and high airport is served by 30 domestic and international passenger airlines and 17 cargo carriers. As the main hub for Mexico's largest airline Aeromexico with Aeromexico Connect, the airport has become a Skyteam hub. It is also a hub for Aeromar, Interjet, Volaris, and a focus city for Viva Aerobus. On a typical day, more than 100,000 passengers pass through the airport to and from more than 100 destinations on four continents. In 2017, the airport handled 44,732,418 passengers, a 7.2% increase compared to 2016. Operating near the limits of its capacity, calls for replacing the airport were announced in September 2014, with the proposed location to be built 16 kilometers (9.9 miles) north northeast of the current airport, east of Ecatepec. As of December 3, 2018, the airport is still under construction and work has not been cancelled on the new airport. <laughs> Location Located at the neighborhood of Peñón de los Baños within Venustiano Carranza, one of the 16 boroughs into which Mexico City is divided, the airport is 5 kilometers miles east from downtown Mexico City and is surrounded by the built-up areas of Gustavo A. Madero to the north and Venustiano Carranza to the west, south and east. As the airport is located on the east side of Mexico City and its runways run southwest-northeast, an airliner's landing approach is usually directly over the conurbation of Mexico City when the wind is from the northeast. Therefore, there is an important overflying problem and noise pollution. History Topic. Origins The original site, known as Lanos de Balbuena, had been used for aeronautical activities since 1910, when Alberto Braniff became the first to fly an aeroplane in Mexico, and in Latin America. The flight was on board of a Voisin biplane. On November 30, 1911, President Francisco I. Madero, was the first head of state in the world to fly on board of a Depredusan airplane piloted by G. O. M. Diot of Moisant International. In 1915 the airport first opened as Balbuena Military Airport with five runways. Construction of a small civilian airport began in 1928. The first landing was on November 5, 1928, and regular service started in 1929, but was officially inaugurated on May 15, 1931. On July 8, 1943, the official Gazette of the Federation published a decree that acknowledged Mexico City's Central Airport as an international airport, capable of managing international arrivals and departures of passengers and aircraft. Its first international route was to Los Angeles International Airport operated by Mexicana. Construction of runway 05D23I started six years later, as well as new facilities such as a platform, a terminal building, a control tower and offices for the authorities. The runway started its operations in 1951. On November 19, 1952, President Miguel Aleman opened the passenger terminal, which later became Terminal 1. In 1956, the airport had four runways in service: 05L23R, 2,720 meters long, 40 meters wide; 05R23L, 3,000 meters long, 45 meters wide, with electric lights for nighttime service; 13 to 31, 2,300 meters long, 40 meters wide, which had been built to relieve 14 to 32. Two, to which residential areas had encroached too closely, and five auxiliaire 759 meters long. Topic: 
1960s to 1990s On December 2, 1963, Walter C. Buchanan, former director of the Transport and Communications Department SCT, changed the airport's name, Aeropuerto Central, Central Airport to Aeropuerto Internacional de la Ciudad de México. Mexico City International Airport. In the 1970s, President Luis Echeverria closed the two remaining shorter runways, 13 31sts and 5 auxiliaire. On the land of 13 to 31, a social housing complex was built, Unidad Fiveport, leaving the two parallel runways. In 1980, the terminal was expanded to double its capacity, using a single large terminal rather than multiple terminals as in other airports. Ten years later in 1990, the mixed domestic, international gates were separated to increase the terminal's functionality, along with the separation of domestic and international check-in halls. On November 24, 1978, the Mexico Control Tower began its operations. It has been in service since then. The AICM has continually improved its infrastructure. On August 15, 1979, and after about a year of remodeling works, the terminal building reopened to the public. The airport continued its operations during the renovation, which improved passenger transit with better space distribution in walkways and rooms. Due to constant growth in demand of both passengers and operations, on January 13, 1994, the Official Gazette of the Federation published a presidential decree that prohibited general aviation operations in the AICM, which were moved to Toluca International. Airport in order to clear air traffic in the capital's airport. Renovations to the AICM continued, and on April 11, 1994, a new international terminal building was ready and operational. It was built by a private contractor according to a co investment agreement with airports and auxiliary services. In 2001, in order to further improve service to passengers, construction for Module 11 started. This module permitted eight new contact positions in the airport terminal, capable of receiving eight regular airplanes, two wide-body, or four narrow-body aircraft. Topic: 2003 to 2007 expansion. Because of the increasing traffic, President Vicente Fox announced the construction of a new, larger airport on 5,000 hectares 12,000 acres in the municipalities of Texcoco and San Salvador Atenco, but when local violent protests took place in 2002, the new airport was cancelled. Instead, to respond to the growing demand and aiming to position the AICM as one of the greatest in terms of quality, services, security, and operational functionality, on May 30, 2003, the federal government announced an update, an extension to the air terminal in order to widen its service capacity from 20 million to 32 million passengers a year. This program was part of the Metropolitan Airport System, promoted by the federal administration. The Communications and Transportation Ministry SCT, Aeropuertos y Servicios Auxiliares ASA, and AICM performed expansion and remodeling work on Terminal 1, over a surface area of 90,000 square meters 970,000 square feet, 48,000 of which were new construction and 42,000 of which were remodeled. The renovations include new airline counters, commercial spaces and an elevator for people with disabilities, which improved the flow of passengers with domestic destinations. Among other works performed in the international area, a long-distance bus terminal was built with connections to Puebla, Cuernavaca, Pachuca, Toluca, Querétaro and Orizaba. The new bus station has access to a food court and the international arrivals and departures area, as well as a pedestrian bridge that connects to the Peñón de los Baños neighborhood. The airport was formally named after the 19th century president Benito Juárez in 2006. On November 15, 2007, Terminal 2 was opened, significantly increasing the airport's capacity. All SkyTeam members moved their operations to the new terminal, except Air France and KLM. It was officially inaugurated in March 2008, once the new road accesses and taxiways were finished. Terminal 2 increased the airport's contact positions by 40% and the operational capacity by 15%. The terminal was inaugurated by former President Felipe Calderón Hinojosa. <laughs> Lack of capacity and slot restriction 
The airport has suffered from a lack of capacity due to restrictions on expansion, since it is located in a densely populated area. In 2014, Mexican authorities established and declared a maximum capacity of 61 operations per hour with a total of 16 rush hours 7 o'clock to 22.59. Another issue with the airport is the limitation that its two runways provide, since they are used at 97.3% of their maximum capacity, leaving a very short room for new operations into the airport. Only government, military, commercial, and specially authorized aircraft are allowed to land at the airport. Private aircraft must use alternate airports, such as LIC. Adolfo López Mateos International Airport in Toluca, General Mariano Matamoros Airport in Cuernavaca, or Hermanos Cerdán International Airport in Puebla. <laughs> Failed attempt to replace the airport The construction of a new Mexico City International Airport was announced by Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto on September 2, 2014, who said that it would be emblematico, or a national symbol. The new airport will replace the current Mexico City International Airport, which is at capacity. It is to have one large terminal of 6 million square feet square meters and six runways, two that are each 4.5 kilometers 2.8 miles, 15,000 feet long and four that are each 4 kilometers 2.5 miles, 13,000 feet long. The architects are Sir Norman Foster and Fernando Romero, son-in-law of billionaire Carlos Slim and architect of the Samaya Museum. Construction will take eight years and depending on the source, is estimated to cost 120 or 169 billion Mexican pesos, about 9 to 13 billion U.S. dollars. It will be built on land already owned by the federal government in the Zona Federal del Lago de Texcoco, between Ecatepec and Atenco in the state of Mexico, about 10 kilometers northeast of the current airport. The terminal is to be sustainable, aiming for a LEED Platinum certification. The project, however, was cancelled on October 30, 2018, after voters voted against a referendum related to the airport. Topic. Terminals and facilities Terminals Mexico City International Airport has two passenger terminals. Terminal 1 is separated from Terminal 2 by the runways. Terminal 1 Opened in 1958, expanded in 1970, 1989, 1998, 2000 and 2004. Overall terminal surface, 542,000 square meters, 5,830,000 square feet. Contact positions, 33. Two contact positions equipped for the Airbus A380. Remote positions, 17, 34 before new T2 was built. Number of jetways, 33. Number of airside halls, 10. Number of landside check -in halls, 9. Number of mobile lounges, 11. Hotel service, 600 room Camino Real, 288 room courtyard by Marriott, 327 room Fiesta Inn, located across from Terminal 1, 110 room Hilton. Parking service, 3,100 vehicles domestic, 2,400 vehicles international. Space per passenger in T1, 17 square meters 180 square feet. Number of baggage claim carousels, 22. <laughs> Topic. Terminal 2 Opened in 2007. Overall terminal surface, 288,000 square meters 3,100,000 square feet Contact positions, 23 Remote positions, 18 Aeromar and Aeromexico Connect Number of jetways, 23 Number of airside halls, 2 Domestic, international Number of landside check -in halls, 3 L1, L2, L3 Hotel service 287-room NH Parking service, 3,000 vehicles 
Space per passenger in T2, 22 square meters, 240 square feet. Number of baggage claim carousels, 15. Platform surface, 426,000 square meters, 4,590,000 square feet. Inter-terminal Aerotrain capacity, 7,800 daily passengers. Terminal 2 was built over a surface area of 242,666.55 square meters and has modern security systems, in accordance with international standards including a passenger traffic separation systems. The new facility will help AICM increase its capacity to 32 million passengers per year. Air operations in the new facilities began on November 15, 2007, with flights by Aeromar and Delta Air Lines, and later Aeromexico, Copa, LAN and Continental Airlines. Terminal 2 was formally inaugurated by former Presidente Felipe Calderón Hinojosa on March 26, 2008. These projects were done without affecting airplane takeoffs and landings, and will help Mexico City International Airport offer better services, and respond to the growing demand of passengers and operations in the coming years. Terminal 2 now houses all Aeromexico flights out of the airport, becoming the airline's main distribution center. Although the terminal was intended to be served by all Skyteam member airlines, Air France and KLM decided to remain at Terminal 1. Other facilities Aeropuertos y Servicios Auxiliares, a government-owned corporation that operates airports in Mexico, has its headquarters on the airport property, Aeropuertos y Servicios Auxiliares. The Aeromar headquarters are located in Hangar 7 in Zone D of the General Aviation Terminal of the airport. Aviaxa had its headquarters in Hangar 1 in Zone C, but ceased operations on May 4, 2011. Airlines and destinations The airport connects 52 domestic and 50 international destinations in Latin America, North America, Europe and Asia. Aeromexico serves the largest number of cities from any Latin American hub 80, 46 domestic and 34 international. Most prominent foreign airlines are United Airlines, American Airlines, Delta Air Lines and Avianca Holdings. Aeromexico, Aeromexico Connect operates the most departures from the airport followed by Interjet, Volaris, and Aeromar. Aeromexico also operates to the most destinations followed by Interjet. Topic. Passenger This table lists passengers' flights served with a non-stop or direct flight with no change of aircraft carrying passengers originating in Mexico City according to the airline's published schedules, unless otherwise noted. Notes carat 1 China Southern's flights from Mexico City to Guangzhou stop over in Vancouver, however the airline doesn't have local traffic rights between Mexico City and Vancouver, squared Hainan's flights from Mexico City to Beijing make a stop in Tijuana, however the airline doesn't have local traffic rights between Mexico City and Tijuana. Other services In addition to the scheduled airlines above, Mexico City Airport is used by some further airlines for chartered flights including Global Air Miami Air International Sunwing Airlines Cargo As of January 2018, Mexico City Airport is served by 19 cargo airlines flying directly to Europe, Central, North and South America, Middle East, Africa and East Asia. The following airlines operate the scheduled destinations below. Airlines providing on-demand cargo services. Topic: <laughs> Traffic statistics. In 2017, Mexico City International Airport moved 44,732,418 passengers, making it the busiest airport in Latin America in terms of total passengers. 
It registered a year to year increase of 7.2%. In terms of international passengers, it was the second busiest airport in Latin America with 15,753,355 passengers, behind Cancun and the second busiest in Mexico after Cancun. The airport is the busiest in Latin America by aircraft movements with 24% more operations than Bogotá El Dorado and 44.65% more than São Paulo Garulas. It is the 15th busiest airport in the world in terms of aircraft departures. In 2016, the airport handled 448,147 aircraft operations, an average of 1,227 operations per day. Regarding cargo, the airport is also the busiest in the country and the second busiest in Latin America, after El Dorado International Airport in Bogota. During 2017, it moved over 537,262.69 tons, an annual increase of 11.13%. The net growth of 53,000 tons was the biggest in the region. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Busiest routes 2017. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Inter-terminal transportation. Terminal 1 is connected to Terminal 2 by the Eritrean monorail system in which only connecting passengers with hand baggage are allowed to use with their boarding pass. Technical and cabin crew can also use it. The distance between the terminals is 3 km miles, and the airtrain's speed is 45 km per hour, 28 miles per hour. Also there is a land service between terminals called inter-terminal transportation. These buses are located at entrance number 6 of Terminal 1 and entrance number 4 of Terminal 2. <laughs> Ground transportation <laughs> Metro and bus services Terminal 1 is served by the Terminal A area metro station, which belongs to Line 5 of the subway, running from Pantitlan Station to Politechnico Station. It is located just outside the National Terminal. Also, trolley bus Line G runs from the bus stop next to the metro to Boulevard Puerto Aéreo Station 1.7 km 1.1 miles away, allowing transfer to Metro Line 1 one can also take Line 5 to Pantitlan and change to Line 1, which is a geographical detour. Terminal 2 does not have any metro station, but is a 700 meters (2,300 feet) walk from Pantitlan, served by Metro lines 1, 5, 9, A, and numerous local buses. Terminals 1 and 2 have two land terminals operating 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Different bus lines operate from here too, and provide continuous transportation services to the main cities located around Mexico City, such as Córdoba, Cuernavaca, Pachuca, Puebla, Querétaro, Tlaxcala and Toluca. Metrobus <inaudible> 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 In late 2010, former head of government of the federal district Marcelo Ebrard announced a plan to build a new Metrobus Line 4 that would run from near Buenavista Station in the west of the city towards Mexico City Airport. Construction on Line 4 started on July 4, 2011. The plans for Line 4 include a two-step construction process with the first 28 kilometers 17 miles operational segment to be built between Buenavista and Metro San Lazaro. An extension provides travel between San Lazaro and the airport. The line opened on April 1, 2012. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Authorized taxis. Taxis are in operation in terminals 1 and 2 and there are two models of service: ordinary service in a sedan type vehicle for 4 passengers, executive service in 8 passengers vans. At present there are five taxi groups in operation. These are the only taxis authorized by the Ministry of Communications and Transport SCT of the federal government. <laughs> <laughs> Accidents and incidents 
On April 10, 1968, an Aerovias Rojas Douglas R4D3 crashed on approach, killing all 18 people on board. The aircraft was operating a domestic scheduled passenger flight, which was the airline's inaugural flight from Aguascalientes International Airport to Mexico City. On October 31, 1979, Western Airlines Flight 2605 crash landed. The crew of the DC-10 landed on a closed runway and hit construction vehicles on the runway. There were 73 fatalities including one on the ground and 16 survivors. On December 12, 1981, a bomb exploded inside the passenger cabin of a parked Aeronica Boeing 727-100, tearing a hole into the fuselage. The captain, two flight attendants and a ground worker were injured. They had been on board the aircraft for pre-departure checks for a scheduled passenger flight to San Salvador and onwards to Managua's Augusto C. Sandino International Airport. An Aero California DC-915 overran a runway on July 21, 2004, during an intense storm at the airport. There were no victims, but the aircraft was scrapped. However, a woman died later due to a heart attack. On November 4, 2008 a Mexican Interior Ministry Learjet 45 crashed on approach around 18.45 local time. On board were Mexican Secretary of the Interior Juan Camilo Mourinho, who was top aide to President Felipe Calderón. Mourinho was in charge of the fight against the drug trade in Mexico. Also on board was José Luis Santiago Vasconcelos, former Assistant Attorney General and current head of the Federal Technical Secretariat for implementing the recent constitutional reforms on criminal justice and public security. All eight on board perished along with eight others on the ground. Forty others on the ground were injured. The crash was attributed to pilot error. On September 9, 2009, hijacked Aeromexico Flight 576 landed at Mexico City International Airport from Cancun International Airport. On September 13, 2009, a Lufthansa cargo McDonnell Douglas MD-11 was damaged in a heavy landing. Post-landing inspection revealed that there were wrinkles in the fuselage skin and the nose gear was bent. According to a Lufthansa spokesman, the aircraft will be repaired and returned into full service. Topic. See also Transportation in Mexico Transportation in Mexico City Notes <laughs>